Welcome to part two. Uh, I think I'm going to call this part two. Uh, when you get a defective product from GearBest, how they handle it or how you handle it. We'll see. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how they handle it. So far, um, I'm not real happy with it. Um, I kind of paused in between these two videos because of the problems that I ran into. Uh, obviously, I had the video one showing the box opening and I was all excited to get my new quadcopter. And then, uh, once, as I said, I went in and, you know, as per instructions of what was received with the quadcopter, which lays out right here, if you read these instructions closely, if you notice right here, it tells you to go to beta flight and how to configure it. And so, I carefully followed the instructions on how to do that. I now have beta flight downloaded on my PC, as you can see. It recognizes it. I have a solid bind light. And I have rebound it at least 10 times just to make sure that there was not something wrong with the binding. But I have it bound. If you look at my radio, it shows a good bind. And here goes the problem. First off, hopefully you can see this good. When you go into uh, ports, you're supposed to configure uh, UART1 is the flight controller. And then UART2, which I checked in all the groups, is the the serial connection to the receiver. So then you go into your configuration, and in here, um, actually I set motor stop off, but it doesn't matter. This is the, actually this is the default. This is the way it came. Which I'll go ahead and go back to that. It doesn't make any difference. I can do it either way, but as you can hear it took the download. And as you can see, I've got the green light at the motor stop. Everything looks fine. You go in here, you go down here. I've got a spectrum radio. You set spectrum to spectrum, spectrum S bus. Uh, I use 1024 and 1028. Doesn't make any difference other than 1024 is actually the right one because this is a six channel. When I do 2048 there, it shows like eight channels. So 1024 is right. Um, I haven't messed with PID tuning, which you shouldn't. They said I shouldn't have to. You know, you can tweak that later after if you get it to receive. Then you go into receiver and look what I have in receiver. Um, I have all the settings correct. It's in the spectrum. I will save it again just to show. But I have nothing as far as look, controller radio. I have nothing here. Um, I've tried and tried a dozen times. It will not bind. Well, it's bound with it, obviously. It's bound to the receiver, but uh, I don't know if it's the flight control board or if it's the receiver. Um, probably one of the two, or it could be the speed controller because I did find that it doesn't behave right in the speed control. Basically, from what I could tell, I got a junk. I don't know if it's secondhand or QC missed it or whatever, but basically I have a I have a junk GT 110 it doesn't do anything it's supposed to and, I, and I'm an avid quad go look at my channel I, I fly quads all the time I bind them I scratch build them and uh, this thing is defective from the get-go um, your modes you know of course you can set those up it doesn't do any good if it's not talking to the radio I can go here in the motors um, I've actually got props on it now but I can I can turn them the motors on and then you can initially let's see if I can hold it somewhere because it'll it's gonna be hard for me to show you this but it's just another part that shows that there's this thing is is haywire let me see if I can get this camera pointer where I can I can't hold it adjust these controls till it just stops but you can tell that when I try to adjust the controls Hopefully I'm catching this. Okay, now you can see I've got the prop spinning 1210 is my reading on that one. Okay, these all should be pretty balanced. Okay, then I go to my next one. Go to three.
takes 1370 look at the difference in those two and and actually this props actually the one that's 1370 is actually spinning slower than the one that is at 1210 and then we'll go to number two here Okay, it is at, and you can see it's actually slower, and you can tell that 1210, this 1210 one, it's still spinning actually a little bit faster. Let's try and bring it down this line. Let's. So basically, there you go. I mean, so okay, so we've got these are, I got them all spinning, but basically, minimum they can go. And then let's go to the last one. Which is 1352. So obviously we have 1352, 1370. So I would say man, these three here look pretty good. Why have I got another one that's at 1210? And it's actually spinning faster than the other three. It'll actually go down to like 1195 for the get to get. I'm trying to get this video short, but I can I can tweak it and get it to where they're all spinning about the same speed, but it'll be at like 1195. It's almost 300 difference. Well, needless to say, this beta flight doesn't give me, and I shouldn't have to tune it that way. That so I have one that tries to compensate the other one. So this this quadcopter would never fly the way it is. And I my guess is is basically that's this one motor is defective by the speed control. So really, we're down to either it's got not including the flight control board and the speed controller, which obviously I mean the flight board. And the uh, and the receiver, we've got an issue that they're not communicating right. We also have an issue with the and I don't know if it's the flight board communicating to the speed controllers, or if it's one of the speed controllers, or the motor, or that speed controller board. But it's got a problem. So there's basically nothing on this quadcopter is functioning right, other than I, I did try the camera, and the camera seems to be functioning. Um, <laughs> other than that, the the rest of the the quadcopter. Uh, has major issues so anyway this video is to because when I contacted an email to them I took screenshots of this and sent it with them and basically their response was well you need to uh, attach a video of the problems you're having so gear best here is the video of the problems I'm having first as you can see I have an issue with the speed controls which let me turn those off before I end up getting a flyaway or something I have a major issue here um, it is not receiving the radio at all like it should be which I have read on the news groups that apparently some of these spectrum receivers here that come with these quadcopters have are defective but it's it's past that it's also got a speed control problem as well as that so I think that pretty much shows everything gear best let's uh, Show you, I went through all setups. I mean, as you can see, I am communicating correctly, obviously. So, this is my video to you, GearBest, to show you, yes, the product you sent me is fully defective. Now, the question is, is what are we gonna do from here?